Well, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I am doing another video on tendon fibrils uh, and tendon transitions. Uh, I just did a video with tendon fibrils in it that I found inland off the coast. And I brought that to you and I'm going to touch bases on a little more what that is. This here is a transition wrinkle zone uh, like the top of Devil's Tower where this is in the state of Washington above me. I'm in Oregon. And I'm going to be using some geology uh, from the state of Washington because there's a geologist up there that actually does go out and take videos and he's made some comments that I say are totally preposterous and I'm going to get into some of that. And uh, I'm also going to get into some transition that I have on the coast to show you to the comparison and what I believe is going on. And so I'm going to get into a little bit of that now and explain what I'm doing. Okay, I'm using this guy up in Washington, Washington State University. I call him Nick, Nick at night. Nice bow tie. Anyway, and uh, the reason I'm using him is because he has a whole bunch of stuff about the Missoula glaciers and all this stuff, which is totally wrong. Totally wrong. Uh, he's got lava clear down on the coast down by Seaside. And that's why I'm using him because he's well known up here in the state of Washington above me. And I don't have to drive clear up there. I can just use his videos to show some of my stuff. And I'm going to try to debunk some of their stuff right now with uh, what I say is tendon fibrils. And they're calling them these uh, columnar basalt stone columns. And uh, he explains how they believe these columns are made. And I'll show you that now. Okay, this is a geologist I'm using up north of me. Uh, he's calling them as columnar, columnar basalt uh, near Othello, Washington. This is tendon fibrils. This is not what he's calling it. Um and what geology believes is that's in my opinion and I'm going to show you what I think it is you notice uh, all the sulfur look at all the sulfur growing along this ask yourself why is sulfur loaded along that why all the sulfur because it's biological it loves blood it's part of the blood process it's part of the transition when blood transfers from the you see what he's crawling up on here? You see these patterns in here and stuff that he's crawling up on to this transition? He doesn't even realize what... I mean, this is incredible. Um, let me show you some more here. Okay, so, so he gets up on top of these tendon fibrils, and he's trying to explain how they, how they dry. It takes 100 years. They, it happened 17 million years ago. And then they did try to say that, well, the, each one, it took 100 years. They dried like a mud puddle. Dries kind of more or less is what he's saying. And they took a hundred years for about for each one to dry. See, he he explains uh, he's comparing them to how a mud puddle, puddle cracks. Only difference is you can put water back on that and rehydrate that. You can't put it back on the stuff he's walking on and rehydrate that. Major difference for one thing. Okay, he's saying these things lava cooled 10.5 million years ago and stuff. This vertical tubes and stuff, which is totally preposterous. Remember those shapes and stuff? I have that same stuff on my last video uh, of what I had, and um, it's biology. 100% biology. Okay, if you go up here, Roger Spur put out a video yesterday, I see, called Space Found Filled with Body Fluids. He's showing a tendon transition here, a muscle, uh, and you need to go up and see this. This side over here is going to be the muscle side, that side is going to be a tendon going down to the bone. And he gets in and showing these serrated lines in here where they break apart and everything. And I'm going to show you some stuff. Like right in here, you see this, this, uh, this serrated line right here? These things snap off right there. And I'm going to show you something right here that's going to blow your mind. Now what I'm going to be dealing with today is I'm going to be showing you the other end. I'm going to be showing you the end where the tendon attaches to the bone. Not up here where he's showing you where it attaches to the muscle. But I'm going to show you something here with no nick. Remember this, these, these lines and where these break off at, okay? Roger's explaining it right in here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Right here. You see those lines right there? These, they'll snap right off right there because they're, they're, that's the weakest link. And I'm going to show you something real quick right here. Okay, this geologist is walking on the top of one of those flat breaking points I just showed you what Roger had in his video. That's what he's walking across the top of. That's how big these creatures are. Unimaginable. And look at this pattern. It's along the same pattern that I had on the stuff inland that I'm going to show you right now in a short video. Oh, it's just I'm going to come up and just bend a little bit. Just, but these things are made to flex and bend. Just like in your body. Look at that. Look at that perfect hexagon pattern. Oh, 
Oh, I look at this one. Look at this pattern again. Let's look at that. Oh, you know it's really cool if we turn it sideways. It looks like steps. <laughs> looks like we're walking up steps. But that's not wouldn't be true, would it? There we go. Man, I wish I could take some of these home. Fascinating. Here's one coming out. Here's one right here. Here's one sheared off. There's more of that pattern up close. We're at a perfect point, a perfect point, perfect V back in here, flat across here, back. I mean, this is just, yeah, I just happened to luckily do all this. And then they each dry, it took a hundred years to, to cool, they're saying. Huh, wow, fascinating. I don't think so. Now what I'm gonna be showing you, these, these tendon fibers are running vertical over here. These are starting to run vertical here. To the right, they're running horizontal. The way over to the left, where all the geologists forget to look, is a big old plate that comes out from beneath the land where all this stuff is sitting on is attached to it. There's a huge plate over there. I'm gonna show you this plate. That all this stuff sets on and I believe is attached to it because it's the bone down underneath there or at least the tunic or the wrap of the bone. Okay, you see this here? This is clear to the left of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you. This is the plate that's up underneath all the land that runs down underneath everything that I'm showing you. This is totally different material than the stuff to the right and I'm going to show you. Look, that's not even what they're calling volcanic like the stuff to the right they're calling volcanic. You see this? And this runs underneath all the land up along the coast. I can show you another spot here on the other side a mile away where I have the same thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this first and let this run. See, this stuff is solid. Totally different material. Oopsie. Let me pause this. So. Yeah, that's the stuff that it's sitting on connected to. That's why I think, I believe this is the part of the bone coming out of the tunic that runs underneath and this other stuff's attached. Now I'm at the other end of the tendon where it attaches to the bone is what I'm going to be showing you. And I'm going to be showing you these tendon fibrils. Okay, this is to the right out facing the ocean. This stuff is sitting on top of the stuff connected to the bone, I believe, of what I just showed you. Okay? Alright. And that's what it looks like. These are laying on their side. These are horizontal, just like the stuff that they're saying that stands up and dries like a mud puddle. Well, this could not have dried like a mud puddle. And with the stuff that's also right beside it over here that's horizontal. And even stuff in here is starting to turn up because this is part of the fabric, if you will, off of the bone, off a transition from the bone to the tendon to the muscle in that area. Okay, so what I believe I'm going to be showing you is the bone to tendon interface. The stuff down to the bone that connects to the tendon. Not the stuff that Roger's been showing you with the muscle connecting to the tendon. Because that's what I believe I have. I'm going to try to shine you some better, find you some better pictures here. Okay, this is a, a, a tendon to the bone emphasis. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, art, interarticular. Anyway, this is here. This is what I'm working on. The stuff that's connecting the tendon and all this round stuff in here to the bone. Okay? That's the stuff that I'm trying to show you. Only it's giant, giant, giant. You can walk up to it and actually see this stuff and hold it in your hand. And the reason I can say that is I'll show you this. Okay, if you go to my video, Mud Fossil Tendon Balls or the 600 foot bilipid membrane, this is a membrane, okay? Everybody keeps saying it's a uh, deteriorated base salt and all this on and on, yada yada. And no, it's not. This is a membrane. And there's places I measured this thing and it's pushing 20 inches back this way, thick. You can hold this up to the light in your body and see through it like a window pane almost. And I can walk on this almost 20 inches thick. 
So that means I can walk up to this transition to the bone and I can actually see the, the matrix, the fabric of the, the, the way the collagen formed the, the matrix to hold it all together. I hope that makes sense. Okay, this is the microstructure and the micromechanics of a tendon of the bone. See, they can't even get pictures down small to where we can see this real small stuff in here. But I believe I have it where we can walk up and see that. And that's what I'm showing you in that video I just started to show you. I'm going to get back to it now. Anyway, if you, I want to say something else. If you come up here and look at this stuff, you can see all these little round dots. Lots of little, little round dots all over the place down in here where it transitions to the bone. And that's where I believe we are. Uh, I'm showing you this video. Right along in this, right here. That transition point. And they don't have very good video of it, but I can give you a really good video because we can walk up to it and it's just over the top in size. Okay, so I'm back down here at the coast at Seal Rock and show you this tendon uh, down towards the bone and show you all this structure. Look how small, this is so small down here and it gets bigger, bigger, bigger. And then pretty soon these start standing up to vertical. Okay, I was just showing you a picture shooting from this distant, this angle here. Now I'm coming from the side. And look how these are laying in here sideways. Just, just loaded in here. Just loaded, loaded, loaded. These are horizontal. And look how they're dried. Now if these had been molten at one time, you know as well as I do, this would be flat as a pancake. Unless this was all flash hardened just like that, freeze dried. There's no way that the horizontal and the vertical together could have dried the way it did. In my mind, I don't see how, unless it was fr flash frozen. Okay, look how these are just laying across there, horizontal. Here's more back in here, they're laying horizontal. Now you know as well as I, if that was molding at one time, it'd be flat as a pancake, just like lava flattens out, just because of gravity alone, and it being uh, molten. Gravity would have pancaked it out, in my opinion. Look at this stuff. Look how small that stuff is. Look at that. Look how it just lays in there. Look how it just lays in there. Whoopsie, sorry about that. <laughs> Hitting the camera. Now, here's a view where it's starting to turn. See, it's starting to stand up more. See, it's getting more pointed and it's starting to turn like this. Look over here how it stood up already. This is vertical right here. Vertical right here. Horizontal, right there. See how it's turning right here? If you go in here and take a look, you'll see how this is transition off the bone, in my opinion. Now, this is a great spot where I can show it perfectly laying flat, and look how it starts turning and going up right there, and I even comment on it. I'll get a far back view so you can kind of get Look how it's there. turning. Look how it starts turning. It starts twisting in there. Starts standing up, and then it starts getting more vertical and standing up. And you can see the big one in behind them, they're, st they're already stood up. So the abrupt transitions on the bottom. Look at those patterns, are just like the ones I showed you out there. Look at that stuff. If you were to take these and stand them up, and I was really small standing right here, and we were looking up at these, can you imagine? It looked just like out there. I can show you. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm going to play a little more and you'll see back in here they start to stand up and start to change angle. This is just amazing. And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you something over here real quick. Okay, this is looking at the side of these. These things are built in, um, in almost sections, but they're glued apart with all this other stuff. And a lot of it's missing because it's deteriorated and uh, got eroded and it's just gone. But I want to show you the layers and how the outside edge is different than the next one, and then the next layer is different, and then that bonds to the next one, and then in the center of the next one's different, and the outside edge bonds to the next layer next to it. This layer bonds to the layer next to it. In the center is a little harder stuff, and the outer edge of it is finer stuff, so it bonds to the next one next to it. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. See in here, it's real fine. See here, here it's, it's, it's more coarse, and out here it's finer. This edge will bond to this next one next to it and make it one solid piece. 
when it's in the body <laughs> and alive. It's, right now it's missing a lot of the fabric that holds it together. I want to show you some more of this where I get up on top and it's just amazing. Look at that stuff. I want to get a shot of this stuff. You see these seam lines and stuff in there? Seam line there. I think there's another one over here. And these things all bond side to side. The smaller stuff on the edges is what keeps the, side, the other piece next to it bonded to it. They've never, I don't think they even know about that this is possible because they can't get cameras that can go small enough to see the stuff in our bodies to even see this happening. Okay, look at this piece, how it's turned up. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. And that is not lava. That is not from a lava flow. Where's the rest of the flow? Anyway, they'd say this is, uh, what do they call this? One of them fissures that opened up and it came up out of the ground. And wow, okay. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other side. I was just down in there. So I was just down on the other side of this right down in there looking back the way. Now I'm going to show All this is vertical. All of this is vertical in here. So we got horizontal and vertical all attached to the same piece. And there's your there's vertical. I believe that's what this is, only on a smaller. See it? This is all vertical. And the stuff I was showing you is was to the right. I'm gonna show you some stuff to the left. Well no, I'm not gonna show you. The video will be too long. Okay, this is looking up one of those tubes that are going vertical from the bottom looking up it. I could get a picture going up. The pattern. See the pattern? That's the pattern of one of these. And I'm standing looking up at the sky. I can I can get underneath this and look up at the sky and look up one of these columns. Okay, I was just showing you from the bottom of one of these what they look like. And here they are standing vertical. Horizontal and vertical. And I was showing you from the bottom. Else. I was standing down in here looking up one of these to show you the pattern, what it looked like from the bottom. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up or it's going to be too long. Alright, I'm going to bug out of here. A lot to think about, but uh, I believe that's what's going on. And I just finally figured it out. That's been troubling me because of the way it was laying horizontal. But I never thought about the other end where it transitions to the bone. And I'm absolute, almost positive that's what's going on now. Uh, now that I've really researched it and looked into it. So I hope that's helpful to you. A lot to think about. And uh, I know I'm attacking geology, but geology is not true. I'm not attacking. I'm just trying to bring the truth um, of creation. And it's not what we've been told millions and billions. Of I'm going to get into some of the other stuff he's got about all these floods we've had. Flood after flood. And miles deep a sedimentary deposit. Well, if you go back and read a lot of ancient texts, Nick, you're going to find out that's not true. We have a lot of ancient texts that go way back, and they don't talk about floods and floods. And the only way they keep this going is because everything they say happened before we were all here. Millions and billions of years ago. It all happened before we were here. Of course it did. You can't prove it because it happened before we were here. Here's my point. If this stuff is happening right now and these things cooled, we should be have it took them a hundred years to cool. We have volcanoes everywhere. This should be happening in real time. We should be able to find these cooling in the process right now of a volcanic island or something like that somewhere and see where these are cracks from the top like a pond and cooling. They only say, say it takes a hundred years. We should see some cooling at 50 years, 25 years, 10 years, a hundred years, just finishing up. Some that are red that are glowing, something somewhere, but there's none. Everything is in this condition right here. Somebody please show me a volcanic, active volcanic island where it has this on the island along with a volcano. That's what I'm really looking for right now. All right. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. Lots to think about. And geology is biology. Bye-bye.